Thanks for joining us for CBN News Tonight. I'm Mark Martin. A controversial American Muslim group is facing new charges of ties to Islamic terrorism. The Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, claims to be a peaceful Muslim civil rights organization, but a group of Republican lawmakers says CARE has a dangerous agenda. Eric Stackelbeck has more from Capitol Hill. For years, critics of the Council on American Islamic Relations have accused the Muslim lobbying group of having ties to terrorism. Now, CARE may be facing its most serious charges yet. Republican Representatives Sue Myrick, John Shattuck, Trent Franks, and Paul Brown held a press conference here on Capitol Hill calling for the Department of Justice to conduct a formal investigation into CARE's activities. They cite this new book, Muslim Mafia, by the investigative journalist Paul Sperry, as providing conclusive documentation that CARE has ties to radical Islamists. Now, that book includes a 2007 CARE strategic memo showing that the group is seeking greater influence on Capitol Hill. The memo reads, We will focus on influencing congressmen responsible for policy that directly impacts the American Muslim community. For example, congressmen on the Judiciary, Intelligence, and Homeland Security Committees will develop national initiatives such as a lobby day and placing Muslim interns in congressional offices. It's initiatives like that by CARE that have Congresswoman and Sue Myra concerned. Are my colleagues in the House aware this organization is trying to place interns in their offices? And if not, why not? Now, Myrick and the other representatives want a few things. Number one, they want the Department of Justice to explain why CARE was named as an unindicted co-conspirator in a federal terrorism trial in 2007. In that trial, the defendants were convicted of funneling money to the terrorist group Hamas. Number two, they want the Department of Justice to investigate whether CARE has been successful in its strategic plan to infiltrate congressional offices with interns. And number three, they want the IRS to investigate CARE's nonprofit status. And so I guess I would just call with my colleagues here for CARE to renounce Hamas, uh, from them to renounce all terrorist notions, and them to recognize Israel's right to exist and to come out in the open and tell us what they really stand for. Now, the Department of Justice has yet to respond to the request for an investigation, and CARE thus far has no comment. Eric Stackelbeck, CBN News, Capitol Hill. And for more on CARE, senior international correspondent Dale Hurd joins us now. Welcome, Dale. Thank you. What do you think about these new charges against CARE? They're very bold. The first thing I thought when the book landed on my desk today was, these guys are going to get sued. CARE has been big on litigating against it, their critics. And uh, very bold charges. I was surprised at what they were able to dig out. It turns out they had uh, an intern inside CARE uh, to pull some of this stuff out. It was interesting. Well, give us a little background on the organization for those who are not familiar with it. Give us a little history and why are they so controversial? Well, one of the founders of CARE was caught telling a small town newspaper, he was speaking to a banquet, and he said the pur purpose of Islam in America was to be supreme over all other religions. And he was one of the founders of CARE, one of the early board members. And people feel that this is CARE's hidden agenda. CARE bills itself as sort of a Muslim ACLU. And I'm on their mailing list, and you're always hearing about these green grievances of Muslim groups that are discriminated against, never anyone else, only Muslims. And you never hear from CARE usually when there's a Muslim terrorist attack. So it's always Muslims are the victim. And sort of the consensus of their critic is, is that CARE is fighting for a special place for Islam in America. Well, do you think that CARE should be investigated? Yeah, it should. And uh, it has been. And there need to be new investigations. I would like to challenge the viewers to Google CARE, C-A-I-R. About the sixth entry will be a group called uh, Anti-CARE. Uh, and this group was sued by CARE because some of the allegations on their site there are amazing allegations, and CARE was not able to win their libel suit against this website. The claims include supporting terrorism, being founded by members of Hamas, uh, wanting to change the U.S. into basically a Muslim government. Very interesting. I'd encourage people to check that out. Okay. Dale Hurd, thanks so much. The terror suspect accused of plotting an attack on New York had some high-level contacts with al-Qaeda. Intelligence officials say Danji Bulazazi was contacted by the terrorist group's leader in Afghanistan. That leader is believed to be one of Osama bin Laden's confidants. confidants. Authorities say al-Qaeda recruited Zazi to detonate homemade backpack bombs in New York's transit system on the anniversary of 9-11. Now to the